Hello, I'm Terry. I've got two Austrain CLP locomotives that I've installed lock sound version 4 decoders into and I've also modified the ditch light so they flash. I'll have to show you how I did it. The first thing you need to do is to remove the body. If you haven't done so already, you're going to need some pieces of cardboard. I use six pieces of cardboard and as it shows in the picture, just poke down the side of the locomotive and you'll find the body will come straight off. You'll need to prise off the headlight then remove the black cover underneath the headlight to be able to get into the printed circuit board for the ditch light. Connected to the pilot you'll see the light bar for the ditch lights. Unclip the pilot from the two wings at the side and carefully remove it. Unscrew the switch and then lift out the printed circuit board. If you look at the printed circuit board that's got the ditch light on it you can see through it as on the photograph here to the tracks on the other side. Unsolder the wires and unsolder the LED and take it out. On the back of the printed circuit board you'll need to make two cuts in there through the copper track. You can use a sharp hobby knife for that and just scrape them off or a file will work as well. You're going to need two gold and white LEDs. Solder them into the printed circuit board with the negative poles facing inwards and the positive outwards and then with a small piece of decoder wire just link up the two positive wires on the outsides. Because you don't want light transfer between the two LEDs, I've used some shrink wrap around each of the LEDs and then shrunk it on very carefully. Because these are not close to any sensitive pieces of equipment, I used a hairdryer to shrink them on. I've normally not used a hairdryer on a locomotive because you could melt all sorts of things, but on this here there's no problem. Solder some decoder wires onto the back of the, the printed circuit board, blue and preferably to the positive pole, and then use a green one for auxiliary one and a purple one for auxiliary two. They, that'll drive the two LEDs. Now we have a very important step. You'll need to solder two 1K resistors into the green line and the purple line. One for each line and then cover it in shrink wrap. If you forget the resistors, you'll blow the LEDs as soon as you turn it on. Now we'll go back to our original photograph. Have a look at the light bar that is there. You're going to need to cut right through the center of it. This step has to be done very carefully and very slowly because you don't want to damage the, the light bar. I used an X-Acto razor saw to be able to do it, the very fine tooth one, and just sort of let it drift across on the top very, very gently with no pressure on at all. It took me quite some time, but I got through it quite well. You'll be left with two halves, and now you're going to need to glue a piece of black plastic between the two. I used a KD shim. It's actually from KD part number 211, and you can actually use some MEK on it, type of glue, or you can use super glue. If you're using super glue, be very careful that it doesn't get on the light surface. I recommend that you now leave it overnight because you want the glue to be fully cured before you put it back together. The black spacer that you've glued in there is going to need to fit between the two LEDs. If it's a little bit too long, you can actually cut a little bit off it when you try and reinstall it. Reassemble your locomotive and program it up with the lock sound programmer with the lock programmer. I programmed up auxiliary 1, the green wire, as a ditch light, auxiliary 2, the purple wire, as a ditch light reverse phase, so when they operate they flash. I plugged them into function button number 5 to get them to flash alternately and also hooked them up to the, the horn so when I blew the horn they would flash for about 6 seconds. I also played around with it and hooked up function 6 so that they would stay on all the time. I hope I've inspired you, so get in there and have some fun if you want to modify your own locomotive.